cannot. Well, cyber ransomware attacks are now on the rise around the world. We have Senator Chuck Schumer speaking about this right now. Let's listen in. Fight on its own against ransomware. These hackers are sophisticated. But the Department of Homeland Security knows how to do this. And today, we are pushing a new plan that demands that the federal government take a megabyte out of these ransom hacking crimes to stop the culprits from getting bolder and bolder. The Department of Homeland Security knows how to deal with ransomware. We are asking them to set up special teams that go to the localities and help them, that come here to Rockville Center and help the school district figure out how to prevent the next ransomware attack. Also, how, what to do if case, God forbid, there is an attack, how to deal with it. So they can do both those things very, very well. And there is legislation that's bipartisan led by Senators Hassan, a Democrat of New Hampshire, and Senator Portman, a Republican of Ohio, that would authorize these teams. In this upcoming budget bill, we're going to push to get that in. And a team could come here and help Dr. Pelletieri and the school district, and help, say, South Shore Hospital, and help the local police to prevent any future ransomware attacks, and to tell them what to do if, God forbid, there's another attack. And in helping, they would show them how to protect the records of the students, of the employees, of everybody else. It's a needed thing to do. Homeland Security knows how to do this. They just got to spread the information and share the wealth. The second thing I'm asking is that our FBI office here on Long Island and throughout New York start making ransomware a high priority. These attacks are new. Again, the FBI can reach out using Homeland Security's knowledge and help our local communities investigate and identify the attacks. And another reason it's good to have the feds involved, ransomware, you got to pay somebody some money. Now, these people don't just say, here's my credit card number over in Albania or Serbia or wherever they are. They use Bitcoin. They use other methods of hiding where the money is going to. But the Homeland Security and the FBI know how to trace it. And they can go after these people and either try to extradite them, if we have an extradition treaty, charge them with the crime. But even if we don't, they can tie up their systems in knots by using offensive cyber warfare and just shut their systems down so they can't do ransomware any longer. So that's the reasons we need this done. That's the reason we need the double punch of the Homeland Security Department setting up these teams and the FBI prioritizing to investigate the crime and bring the culprits, at least paralyze the culprits, so they can't do it again. And it's very, very necessary. This is on the increase. You know, technology is a great thing, but it has a downside. Ransomware is one of those downsides, and we got to stop it. So we're here pushing. By the way, the Monroe Woodbury School District in Orange County on the other side of New York City was hacked as well. And there's been hacking, and they hit uh, Mineola as well. R where's Garrett? Yeah. Is that the city of Mineola? It just says Mineola. Village. The village of Mineola as well was hit by ransomware. So this is happening all over the place. And we have to stop it. And I know that somebody who cares a lot about this and will help me get this legislation through the House, as I work for it in the Senate, is our great member of Congress, Kathleen Rice of the 4th Congressional District. Thank you very much, Senator. And if you'll excuse me, I'm going to put on my sunglasses because I just had an eye examination. Yes. And so my pupils are dilated very to cool share a little information. <laughs> so for once, I will be your cool senator. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. In 2016, the Russian government carried out an unprecedented attack on our election infrastructure. Meanwhile, we know that Iranian and Chinese government agencies have been targeting our transportation system, our energy grid, and even American companies. There is no question that the cyber threats we face today have drastically increased in just the past few years. And one of the most disturbing aspects of this trend are the recent uh, wave of ransomware attacks 
as documented by Senator Schumer, that have hit American cities, government offices, and as we saw right here in Rockville Center, our school districts. These criminal hackers are only growing bolder and more sophisticated. They will stop at nothing to extort taxpayer dollars from middle-class communities like ours, even if it means preying upon sensitive student information. Cities like Atlanta, Baltimore, and Albany have paid millions of dollars to retrieve their data. But these attacks can be even costlier and more difficult to counter in places like Rockville Center, which don't have the resources of a major American city. So if we want to stop these criminals, then we also need to grow bolder and more sophisticated ourselves, not just in how we protect ourselves, but in how we pursue and apprehend the hackers. That's why I urge the Senate, and thankfully we have our great Senator Chuck Schumer here with us, we need the Senate to act quickly to pass the DHS Cyber Hunt and Incident Response Teams Act. This bill, it's already been passed in the House, would authorize DHS hunt and incident response teams. Housed within the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, these teams are deployed to help the owners and operators of critical infrastructure after a cybersecurity incident. They provide intrusion analysis tools, they help identify malicious actors, and they suggest mitigation assistance strategies. As a member of the Subcommittee on Cybersecurity Infrastructure Protection in the House, we worked in a bipartisan fashion to codify C DHS's incident response teams into law. It was a top priority for both parties. These response teams play a critical role in our ability to help places like Rockville Center after they've been hit by a ransomware attack. Hunt and incident response teams are our, literally are our boots on the ground in the event of a cyber incident. They provide an unmatched level of expertise and assistance in order to help local operators or municipalities respond to an attack, and we need them in this fight. This is about protecting our communities, our children, and our taxpayers. Nothing is more important. I want to thank Senator Schumer for fighting with us here today. And I would uh, ask our great state senator, Todd Kaminsky, to come up and say a few words. Hey, Todd. Thank you, Senator Schumer. Thank you, Congresswoman uh, Rice. Uh, in, in state government, getting school funding is really our number one task. And every dollar we're able to bring back for a school district is precious and, and matters so much. It is sickening to think that $100,000 of money uh, that should be going toward all types of educational benefits, uh, both inside and outside of the school, uh, are used to necessarily have to pay criminals. And that's, that's a tremendous shame. Now, Rockville Center does a, a smart job with its school planning and, and has a, a tax base that, that always steps up and is asked to do a lot. Many school districts would simply not have $100,000 and would be in an absolute catastrophe if this were to happen to them. Uh, so, you know, we, we think about school security a lot lately. Unfortunately, the mass shootings throughout our country have us looking in every school about entrances and exits and the type of windows they have and security cameras and police response. And so much money is dedicated toward that, and appropriately so. There's never enough. But school security now also means something else, and that's cybersecurity. And we're going to need to step up our efforts, both on the federal and state level, uh, to ensure that we are no longer behind the curve, and as Senator Schumer wonderfully said, going on the offense. Uh, th this cannot happen. Our schools are, are sitting ducks, uh, waiting to be preyed upon. We need the technological know-how. We need federal and state resources to help them. Uh, and the jobs that they're doing day in, day out in schools, just like the one behind us, are, are you know, on the front lines of what matters most to our society. We have to keep them protected. And beyond that, as Senator Schumer mentioned, our hospitals, our villages, uh, and our our utilities. This is the next. This is the next front in in this in warfare in our 21st century. And cases like this show us how behind the curve we are. Um, let's just thank the Rockville Center School District for doing their job, and let's pray that we don't have to have another situation again, and we'll get out in front of this. Thank you, Senator Schumer. Thank you, Congresswoman Rice. Thank you, Todd, Member Assembly Member Griffin. Um, 
Thank you, Senator Schumer, um, Assemblywoman Judy Griffin. Um, thank you to Mr. Pelletieri, Congresswoman Rice, Senator Kaminsky, Mayor Murray, uh, for being here, and thank all of you for being here. <clears throat> uh, recently, there's been an uptick in ransomware attacks on our communities and school districts. As a mom of four who attended Rockville Center School District, I was uh, very concerned when this happens, as was so many other residents. With this uptick, it is vital that we take steps to protect ourselves from future threats by securing our data and not allowing ourselves to be threatened in future instances. I am so grateful to be standing here with my colleagues in government as well as Senator Schumer as Senator Schumer leads the charge on this important issue. Future attacks will not be tolerated, and I look forward to working with my colleagues at all levels of government to protect our schools and children from this potential danger. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblymember. Thank you. Appreciate it. And last but not least, now Dr. Pelletieri should not have to be spending his time fighting ransomware. He should be spending all his time educating our kids. But these hackers have forced him to devote time to the issue of ransomware. We have to come in and help. Dr. Pelletieri. Thank you, Senator Schumer. On behalf of Dr. Johnson, Superintendent of Rockville Center Schools, we would like to express our disappointment that we have been included in the number of many cyber attacks throughout this nation. Uh, they held our data hostage this summer. It's happened in other places as well, and it needs to stop. Thanks to our incredible staff, we were able to recover in time to open our schools for all of our students. These coordinated attacks that target local schools and governments need to be approached proactively. It's not a matter of if a school district will be attacked. It's a, it's a matter of when a school Correct. district will suffer a cyber attack. We welcome this opportunity to offer Southside High School as a platform to inform others of this issue in hopes of reducing the likelihood of cyber attacks occurring in this district or in any other school district across this nation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pelletieri. You. And what he said is exactly right. If we don't stop this now, you can be sure that many more school districts, hospitals, municipalities, police stations, as well as private entities like utilities will be attacked in the future. We'll take questions on this subject first. You talked about uh, Bitcoin being shelled out by the insurance companies. Is there any way to trace where that's going? Yes, and that's one of the reasons we need the FBI involved. They're quite good at tracing where this comes from through Bitcoin. And then using the FBI, as well as some of the other federal agencies, you can actually do offensive warfare and shut these people down. We have done that. In other words, you send a cyber attack on them and shut their system down so they can't do it again. So you use, you trace it through Bitcoin because they have to get money. So the money has to end up somewhere. You find out where it is. It's not easy, but the FBI knows how to do that. Homeland Security knows how to do that. And then you shut them down. And it appears to be coming from most of the cyber ransomware attacks are from Eastern Europe, some from Russia. But make no mistake about it, you know, we had um, uh, Iranian interference in a utility in Westchester, a dam. Now, they didn't uh, open up the sluice gate, but they, but they hacked it so they could have. So this is happening everywhere. Senator, how would the measures you're proposing differ from measures already in place at DHS and the FBI? They don't have these teams that come out. And that's why we're having a budget that will be debated in the next few months. And the Hassan-Portman bill, very similar to the bill that passed the House, we're going to try to incorporate it into the budget, not just pass the bill, but actually allocate dollars for this. Senator, this is the challenges of, of like, school districts and the hospitals, the municipalities, that they have to pay. I mean, they're, they're being... Do you, what choice do you have? You want to protect your kids' records? You want to make sure the school can function? You want to make sure... You know, this can be in Albany. Police station was shut down. Police 911 didn't work. So this can be very dangerous as well. And doctor, can you just talk about that? that you have to pay. I mean, that you, luckily, this was over the summer. But what would have happened if you didn't pay? Yeah, and unfortunately, that's happened with some districts where they could not open their school year. Syracuse was during school year. Yeah, so, so you have to be proactive. You know, we got great support uh, reactively from Department of Homeland Security and FBI. It would be great if we could proactively go after this. Right. And if they, if they were to shut down the, the, school, the school records, how does that affect running of the school? Yeah, uh, just simply programming students, getting them to their classes on time, getting teachers their data, their work product, uh, you would be at great risk. Okay. 
Any other on this couple of weekends? We have just been listening to a press conference happening in Rockville Center on Long Island. That's where Senator Chuck Schumer is joined by elected officials from Long Island to address the recent issues associated with ransomware attacks. That's when hackers break into a computer system, lock the owners out until they get a fee, a demanded payment. Hackers targeted schools on Long Island, also in Orange County, ahead of the school year. The Rockville Center School District ultimately had to pay nearly $100,000 to get its information back. The senator says he wants the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI to take on a larger role in helping to protect local communities from ransomware attacks. We're going to have much more on this story later on all of our platforms, CBSN New York, CBS2 News, and CBSNewYork.com. For now, we'll be right back.